Hello, hello developers, and welcome back to Elixir Pro. This is the fourth and last video of our test-driven development series. Well then, let's continue after the intro. So, we've stopped the previous video. We've just finished the describe block for edit, if I recall correctly. Let's check. It was in to do app, to do item controller. And if we check in our test, actually the last thing that we did was for describe block for the update to do item. Well then, now I think the next step is describe block for the delete to do item. Let's check in our app with generators. So to do app uh, controller dot exs. So this one here. So this is the describe for the update to do item. Yep, right now we're gonna check the delete to do item. So let's create a describe block for that. Describe. So it would be delete to do item. We will also need to grab this line below here. So, oops, here. Now we're gonna do our first test, which is test delete chosen to do item. Okay, test delete chosen to do item. We're gonna need to pattern match on the connection and the to do item. Then we're probably gonna need to create a to do item if I'm correct. Yeah, no, no, we already created one in the setup block. Uh, so first thing you're gonna be doing is like doing a delete request, passing our to do item. Okay, let's do this one. So connection is gonna receive a delete, passing our connection, routes, whoops, routes, to do item path, passing our connection. We're gonna hit the delete function. We're gonna pass the to do item, right? Okay, if you run this test, it should fail because you don't have that endpoint. Yep. So let's go to our router. We're going to grab like a new line here, but this will go to slash ID and this will go to the delete function and actually this will be a delete request. Okay, I think that's it. So now if we can run once again that test, it should say that we don't have that delete function in our controller. And that's exactly what we got. So we can go to our to do item controller.ex. And here at the bottom, we can create a new function called delete. We're gonna be receiving a connection and some params, which probably is gonna to be that ID over there. Actually, let's just grab this thing already. Mm -hmm. And we're not gonna be receiving this to do item. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. and just to make that test pass, we can just return the connection, right? So if we go back to here and run this test, yep, all tests are passing. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to assert is that we're going to redirect our connection to the index function after a deletion is completed. Okay, so we're probably gonna do something as we did up here. Oops, this is the test. Okay, redirect to. So here, oops, actually we didn't wrote, wrote that line of code. So actually let's go back to our test. And we are going to assert here at the bottom that assert that our connection be redirected to our connection to routes dot to do item path, passing our connection into the index function, right? So if you run this test, it should fail because we're not redirecting anything. Yeah, that's correct. So if you go back to our controller and now we have to grab this line here, which is the redirect and just pass this to, to do item path. Actually, this should be index. And I guess that's it for passing that test. Let's run it once again. 
Yep, that test is passing. So the next thing that we're going to be asserting is that we're going to receive an error if we go to the show route, getting passing this to do item that we deleted. Okay. So actually, the first thing that we will be doing is here. If I just do the con get connect get request to the connection to our routes dot to do item path, passing our connection once again and hitting the show, and then our to do item. Is something strange happening in my terminal in my editor? So let me open once again and go back to to do item controller dot ex, uh, which is here. Uh, this one. Here, actually, this thing should be okay, right? Like, no error should be thrown because we didn't delete anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we need a cert that we are receiving an error. So let's go cert, error sent. The kind of error we were going to receive is the one that we get from that, from when sensor record does not exist anymore. So actually, just let's step back for a while. Let's go back to our controller. What we will be doing is like we're gonna get our to do item, right? So now we have a to do item and we are going to delete this thing. So let's create a tuple. Okay, and deleted to do item. This will be this will be called the to do dot delete to do item. Passing our to do item, right? But we don't have this function in our context module. So let's comment this thing for a moment. Let's go to our to do.ex, which is our context module. And we are going to first create a test for that delete to do app. So test delete to do item. This would be a one array function. Uh, delete uh, to do item. To do item. I think that's good enough for description of our test. The first thing that we're going to be doing is like creating a to do item. And then we're just going to delete this thing. So it's an okay, like deleted to do item. It's going to receive to do I to do dot delete to do item passing our to do item. Okay. So now this test should fail because we don't have that function over there. Right, so the lead to do item with rt one is not defined, so we can go back to our test and let's define a delete to do item. We're gonna be passing our to do item, and we're just going to do like to do item, like repo dot delete. I guess that's good enough for making our test pass over there. So here. Yep, that correctly. And now we can do like the same test that we did before. I believe that the same thing is, is doing here as well. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, it's raising, you see, it's probably the same thing that we are gonna test. So we're going to assert race. We're going to receive like an ecto, ecto dot no result error, right? This thing we're gonna be passing a function. This function is going to raise something because we're going to try to get and you use the get with a bank if you recall from the previous videos so this thing here and then the ecto shouldn't find anything and i guess that's good enough so if you run this test yeah everything went fine so now we have a delete function we can go back to the to do item controller now we can like and command this line because we already have this function. Okay. So you can go back to the controller. Du, 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 du. We can finally um, assert that thing that we want. So it's assert race. That's probably the same thing. So it's an ecto dot no result passing a function. Right now, our function will be this get request. 
maybe if we just run this thing oh but no we need to assert that answer right which is be a 404 if i recall correctly uh to do item controller test this one yes actually assert error sent yeah 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 assert race is for the ecto part of our code and now here is assert error sent and now yeah this thing is like an error which, we, which will be raised in our controller. Which will, it will raise the ecto dot results no result error, and this is going to retrieve for us a 404. And I guess that's it. Let's run this test just to be sure. Yep, everything is passing. I guess this is the end part of our controller. Mm, let's check. Actually, let's commit, right? Because this is a good uh, point for us to git dash dash o, git commit dash sign message. So this is the end of the uh, describe block for delete to do item. Actually, let's, let me check if all tests are passing. Yep, all tests are passing. So here we committed that. And I guess all our tests, our controller tests, are the same one as the generators. Like we have a few things missing that we will be covering soon enough. So, but let's check what we have here. So this is the generator with the controller. We have a fixture and we have a fixture. The index, the index, like it's pretty much the same. The new to do item is pretty much the same. So this renders a form. Let's just put form. Uh, to, to, to the create to do item create to do item mm -hmm. I, I put like some extra things here but it's pretty much the same thing okay the renders when is invalid render when is invalid pretty much the same the edit Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Yep. Okay. And the update. And the update. Oops, like what we have here. We're past the to do item, and there's like update ETTRS. We are redirecting. Here's redirecting. Then you start connection. Yeah, it's the same thing. When data is invalid. When data is invalid. It's pretty much the same thing. The, the delete one. Yeah, I'm just need like put like an extra space here. Okay, yeah, we're pretty good. Actually, let me uh, add uh, a dash dash all again and let's actually append the, the commit. Okay, something that might not be the same is our controller. Let's go back to our controller and let's check what we have in different. So this is that with the generator. If you go to the controller, here's the index and the index looks like pretty much the same thing. Okay. The new, we already have something different. Okay. So to do dot change to do item, it's something that is going to be in our context, right? And the, base, the only thing that this is going to return for us is like a to do item change set because in the form of the generated, uh, the Phoenix generators project, if we check like here in the form.html, we see that we are doing a form for a change set, okay? So let me go back there and let's go back to our project to stay the same. So we're going to be receiving like a chain set. Actually, it will be an, I feel it's be just a chain set, right? Yeah, chain set. We're going to receive a to do item dot change to do item. And we're going to be passing here like a to do item where that thing is not alias. So let's alias this. So da -da -da, item, actually, to do item. Okay, we're going to be passing here the to do item. Since we alias that, oh, actually just put like the chain set here so that this thing will be available in our template. Now that we alias that to do item, I guess we can refactor some things here. Maybe not. Okay, that's just, that's the only point. 
what's the error? Okay, uh, this, this is a TDD series. We can comment tonight because we don't have like the change to item function. So we can now go to our to do dot actually because I put this change set here just so that we don't have any errors. For the meantime, let me just put like an empty list here. So let's go to the to do dot ex and let's create that function. But first, let's create the test for it. So the test will be like test um, change to do item. This is a narrative fun to function because we want to return like a change set and we can also, we would like also to pass params for it so that like the change set can receive like a created to do item. We will use that later in the edit, but just trust me for the moment. So you now returns a change set. I think that's good enough. Let's, let's, let's check what we have here in the app with the generators. Uh, returns a to do item change set. Okay, so let's like returns a to do item change set. The first thing that we will be doing is like we will create a to do item, right? And then we want to return a change set, which will be to do i to do dot uh, change to do item. We're going to be passing our to do item, right? And we can assert that this thing here is actually a nectar.change set. I think I'll be happier with this approach. Okay, so this thing should fail because we don't have a function over there, right? Run this test and yep, we don't have that function over there. It's with rt1, mm, yeah, okay. So let's create a function. So we would def change to do, to do item. We're going to receive like a to do item, but we also want to receive some ATTRS, which for the meantime, if nothing is passed, is like an empty list, okay? So we're going to get a to do item. Then we're going to do like to do item dot change set, and we are going to pass the ATTRS. Oops, ATTRS, right? And that's it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yep, all the tests are passing. Let me check what we have here. That's just this that we have. Okay, so we can go back to our project. Now that we have this to do item chain set, we can go back to our controller. So to do item controller. Now we can command this line and now pass the chain set. For the meantime, I'm not gonna touch on the template. I'll maybe do this in the end of this video, but right now, like we have our controller, most of what we have in the to do app with generators. Let me open once again. So controller, that's the one. So now if we have the same thing here and the same thing here, okay. The create function, I guess we forgot to put like this info here. That's the only thing, right? Yeah. Okay, let's put just the info. It's actually for just for feedback to the user. Like after creating a, a, a successful to do item, like we're gonna put like a, some it's a warning actually. Yeah, it's a flash on the on the page saying like that to do item was created successfully. But this isn't like this doesn't change like the functionality of our code. It's like feedback for the user. So let's go to the show function. Do, 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 the show function. I believe it's pretty much the same thing. Okay. The edit in our code is different, probably because we are not doing that change setting. So da, da, da. actually, we first need to grab the, the 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 item that we are receiving. So we should like do like this. Actually, let me copy this thing here. And the ID is more than enough, I guess. No, maybe not. Mm, yeah, no, the ID is more than enough. Yep, so we can just like grab this thing. <laughs> Oops. Now we can grab our to do item, like the one line below here. We can create a change set from the line that we created here. But this time, instead of passing like an empty to do item, we're gonna pass the one that we fetched. So, to do item. And now we're gonna pass the change set here, change set. And I guess our edit is the same as the one in the update. So this one, this one. Mm, and here you see we are passing also the to do item. Oh, we're passing the to do item because this is going to, we're going to use it in the, in the route for the update. 
So let's pass it once again, let, let pass it as well, sorry. So to do item. Okay, now we, it's the same. Let's check the update. Let's check the update. We forgot this flash to say that this thing was updated successfully. Okay. Mm -hmm. And again, if we have some, like any errors, we should like pass this this to do item here because the chain set will now have the errors in the template. So let's do this also here, the same reason as we did on the edit. So um, actually on the edits for creating the route and in the update is to render in the to do item with the chain set errors. To do item, to do item. Yep, the delete part now. Delete part now. Mm, oh, we just forgot the flash. And let's just now put this thing here. So now our controller is the same one as in the, the one of generators. Like if you run our tests, like everything should be passing still. This 17, I believe here we have like 18 tests, don't don't we? 19 tests. Let's check what which are the tests that are missing. But let me just finish the the process. So now our controller is the same one as we have in the ungenerated generated project. So let me just show you guys how we can like update the template part. Um, <laughs> Let's just, let's first, like the first thing that we changed was this chain set function. So let's do the new first. So let's open the new .html.ex, right? Actually, let me put this on h1 because that's how the generated, the thing generators use. Now we're gonna be using like a form for, I'm gonna grab most of the boilerplate code from the, from the form here. Let me grab this code here. And I'm going to pass like step by step with you guys. Okay, so we're creating a form for the chain set is something that we are passing in the controller. Let me open this to you guys here. Uh, to do item controller, which is you see, we are passing this thing in the in the for the template. But something that we are not passing that we're going to refactor soon is the is this action here. This action is like the route that we will be hitting. So actually let's do this like routes dot uh, to do item path, passing our connection. And this we will hit since this is a new, this way the create route, create. And I guess that's it because we are passing this thing here as our, as our function. We can test this thing here like this, so we can like create a start our application. Oh, and we have an error. Oh, the connection is actually at connection. So at connection. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me clean this thing once again. Okay. Okay. Let me open like now a new. Chrome tab, so put here, let's go to localhost slash to do items slash new, which is this thing here. First, let me like update the show as well, but you know, like this thing is, is working correctly. And the show, the only thing that the show is going to give us is like, I just have the body, let's put the, the title here, title. And if you like, I'm gonna do the same thing as we have in the generators. This should be like an H1. Oops. H1. Uh, once again. Once again. H1. Like this should probably be like in a table. Let's grab the code for the show as well. Here's the show. This would be an unordered list. Like there is the strong for the title. Then passing the title. We have like a link, a link back. So let's copy this thing. Mm, let's paste it. So let me remove these these lines that we're not gonna use. Okay. <laughs> let's run this thing once again. Let me put this thing here. Okay. Let me refresh the page. So if you create like um, actually, I would like to to reset our database prior to that because I don't know if I created something. Okay. So we can now, 
this would be like uh, first title post and body for the first to do item. Okay, we can create this thing is go to our show. You see here like this to do item create successfully was that thing that was missing our controllers. So our application is working correctly. Mm -hmm. The next thing I want to do is like go to the edit. I don't know, I don't guess that we have the route for it in the index, but like this is the probably the first to that we, we created. Oops, so if I go like slash one slash edit, we should go to the edit form. And right now we don't have anything, so let me put this thing back here. And actually let's grab the same thing that we have in the new. Let me grab all this code and actually stop this thing for a while because I want like a bigger part. So let's grab all this code here. Something that we got from the new and go to the edit and let's paste this thing. Let me put this on the age one as well. Um, maybe we could grab like that links here to edit and back. Actually in the edit, it will be like just back probably, right? So just back, it's fine. But now we are not gonna hit, on the edit, we're gonna hit like the update function. Update. Yep, I guess that's it. No guy knows about, but this is like, this is gonna throw like uh, that flash message saying something went wrong and this will, will render the error tags that we have there. So let's try to run the, our project once again. Okay, now let me put this thing back here. So if we try once again, update this function, what we did it wrong to do, item path, the update function, those are supported. Okay, let me put this back. What we did wrong here, mm -hmm. that's actually in check in the update. So the edit here, so, oh, we forgot to pass the, the route for the update, which is, um, mm -hmm. our to do item, right? Because this is the thing that we are updating. And like, if I put it back that that first post, so we just created this post here. So let's like update with like two and like items two, same thing happen. This should be fine. You see now we have this two at the end. If we add it once again, but now let me put like this thing as a new, this should fail, right guys? Yep, something went wrong and this saying like can't be blank. So our, our validations are working correctly. Let me put like title once again so that we can save. Let me put this a bit, put this back. Okay, let me close this tab once again. <laughs> we see now that we have like duplication of code because like this thing here is pretty much what we have here in the new. And that's something that we can grab from the project generators. You see, like they have this line here and he, he created like this partial here, which is rendered uh, partially. So like we can like go into the template part. We can create like a form dot HTML html.eex, right? And now we can like grab one of those. So this thing here, and we can paste it here. Okay. Now this thing will go, we put back as action. So at action, this is something that we're gonna have to put in our assigns. So if we go to the edit, I think it's fine. Let's grab those line there. So like grab this thing here and paste it here. You see, we're rendering that form that we just created and we're putting the assigns that we have right now for our template. We're putting like a key called action and inside we're putting like the exactly same route as we have here down below. So we can like remove this thing. Right, so if I do, 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 okay, let's run once again our application. And let me prove to you guys that this thing works. So if I put it here, like, let me refresh with this slash edit. You see, we're rendering that same form, so it worked. Let me close this thing once again. We can like repeat the same process here to the new. So like paste this thing, but now we sh we're gonna grab like this route here and we are going to be pasting here. <laughs> now we can remove this thing. This is the new, actually you could put like a link here, which is the thing that they have here in the new. It's like a link to go back. So let's do the same thing here. 
And once again, let me prove to you guys that this works as well. So start our application. Let me put this thing here. And now actually we're going to let's do it slash new. Yep, this is the form that we had there. Let's just like create another to that. So uh, second to do item title. And like, we don't care what I have here in the body. This thing was created. So we go back. Now we don't have something in the index part. Let's update that thing as well. Uh, close this thing once again. In the index, we don't have like anything here. So let's just put like once again, the H1. And I'm not gonna create like all the table by hand, but we can go through it from our project with the generators. So we're creating a table. This is the TR, TH is actually the title and the body, which are the just two fields that we we have in our to do app. If you see here, the TDs actually have three TDs. The first thing is like the title, which is matches this one here, the body, which matches the second one here. But now we see like we have a third one. This third one is like where we're going to be passing like the routes for edit, show, and delete. Okay. Then we finish our T body around our table. We have like a, uh, a new link here to redirect to the new route so that we have like to, to type at the at the top of our application. So if we run this, our application once again, and let me show you guys in the bottom, if we refresh this, we should see doo -doo -doo -doo, listing to do items. And for some reason why this thing is not showing, let me check here the code. Mm -hmm. Let's check here if we have like all the to do items. So like to do dot list, actually it's to do app dot list to do dot to do dot list to do items we have two let's check here like at to do items so let's go to our controller to do item controller and we're passing to do items here so this thing should be passing <laughs> but it's not we are the index.html.ex <laughs> Okay, just a second guys, and be right back in a moment. Hey, hello YouTube, actually I'm back, and I think it was something related to cache because I didn't change like a thing in my code. I just like uh, put it down the, the, my browser and restarted the server. See, we have like the exact same code here. I didn't change like a line of code, but if we like open our application once again, and if I put this thing here and like we refresh here, now we're showing like the items that we just created. So like if you go to show, we can like see here, we can edit. So title, we go title two, we can go save and title two is here, back. So everything's working. And I believe that right now we have everything that we have from the project with generators in the one that we did like hand by hand style. Mm, I think we can finish this thing here. We can like run our, all our tests, mix test. And now we are not passing like the one in to do item controller test. Oh, because probably we, I didn't capitalize this thing. So actually let's run once again. Mm, items, items and with a dot. Yep, everything's passing. Mm. Let's check, like I am, I'm like a little bit, um, think about we have like 19 tests here. And so maybe something I'm missing. Uh, yes. So mix test, you have 19 tests. Let's check in the to do.ex. Let's see if we have like all the, all the same tests this is the context part so the first one is like at least to do it returns to do items yeah this it's this one here we have this one so the next one is like get which we have as well the third one is this create here oh yeah the same now with invalid data, I believe we didn't have like this one. Yeah, so we can create like a test for if invalid data. So actually we can just assert this thing here. Assert, this should be like an error. 
You can like <laughs> error tuple, and this thing is going to be echo the chain set. Okay, chain set here, and like we can create. This is the valid item. We can create like an invalid one here, like invalid, like passing the body as new. So new and new. So we can like pass here invalid and we can test this thing. Oh, I need to update the create to do item with <coughs> invalid data returns chain set with Okay, so there's one more test that we are missing. So this is with the invalid. Now the update, the update. Oops, here there's two with update. Yeah, the same thing like the, for create but with invalid data. We can like paste this thing here. Have this thing, we have an extra chain set, update it with invalid. Actually, it will be invalid. ATTRS and we can like t -t 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 will be the same ID and nothing else changes. Yep. Now we should have like all the tests that we have in the in the project we've generated. So mixed tests should like throw 19 tests. Now yeah guys we have like everything uh, done from the generators but now like a step by step process in the series. I hope that you have enjoyed as I did and stay tuned and happy coding. Bye.